Hello, welcome to another edition of Shockwave Sports. I said another, but this is actually the first one. And I am joined by Mr. John Von Hollywood, a.k.a. John Parolsky, movie producer, a.k.a. Nick's father. Here he is. <laughs> hey, uh, Josh, do you think they uh, can tell that we are Penguins fans? Yeah, I, we might have a little bias in this video, but... <laughs> we'll we'll see how it goes. I think there's going to be some spicy opinions here. This is our this is our brand new segment where we're doing a top five a of the best winter classic jerseys. As a hockey fan, the winter classic is one of the most exciting times of the year. The first winter classic was held in 2008 at Ralph Wilson Stadium in Buffalo, New York, and technically Orchard Park, New York, but Buffalo. You get it. <laughs> there has been 13 winter classics uh, as has been held as of January 2022. As of this recording, the game hasn't happened yet for 2023. Let's go, Pens. And of course, the next one is today at beautiful Fenway Park. The Boston Bruins will be taking on the Pittsburgh Penguins. Are you excited for the game, John? I am. I. This is we're going to talk about it soon, but man. Those jerseys, man. Yeah. The, they, yeah. I was not expecting them to go the route they did this year, and I am so happy they did. Start with number five. John, I want you to go first. I might have to go with the Montreal Canadiens. Okay. Yeah, look at those. Oh, and there's our boy, Subban. Yeah. You know, yeah. with, with my, the jersey on. My favorite non-penguin of all time. Like, <laughs> legit, I... Ugh. If he who doesn't love Subban, even if he really? was on the Penguins like for one year, I would have bought that jersey so quickly. It could have been like a thousand dollars, and I still would have bought it. No, Josh, <laughs> look at this jersey. It's uh, it, it's you know, it's recognizable. Yeah, you can tell it's a Habs jersey, but I don't ever recognize this color scheme. I kind of wish they'd wear these color schemes more. Yeah, I I don't know why they didn't use this. I'm sure they use it as an alternate jersey throughout the season, but beyond that, I don't you don't see this around. I think they should bring it back. It's already been a while since this winter classic game. Why not bring it back? <laughs> yeah, this is my my fifth is uh specifically this picture of PK Subban yeah. in the if it wasn't if it wasn't for 80s. PK, it wouldn't be on your top five. <laughs> he does look <laughs> no, great that, in it. I love the white helmet with the blue gloves. You don't see that often, where usually the helmet matches the gloves. I like the difference yeah. there. I, I like jerseys that are more dynamic. I don't like things that blend in. My number five. It is only on here because, in my humble opinion, I know I'm biased. I think this is their only good jersey they ever had. The Philadelphia Flyers 2012 jersey. This franchise has some of the worst jerseys in American American Canadian sports. <laughs> and they finally got one. I love the like, is that like kind of like a beige color they got going on on the yeah, sides? It's almost, it looks almost like the Vegas gold uh, yeah. in the jersey that you're wearing. Yeah, yeah. It's kind of that scheme, like kind of like right right here. And what I like <sighs> what I like about it is the you see, especially in that photo, the A, it's not just an A, they have a shape around the it. The shield, which, yeah. Yeah, which puts on, I don't know what era this jersey was from or if a team actually ever wore this or this was custom, but... Finally, the Flyers got it right. Um, I just never <laughs> like their jerseys. I don't, not even because I'm a Penguins fan. Like, I I love the Rangers jerseys. I don't like the Rangers, but I like their jerseys. I just don't think the Flyers ever had a good one. What's what's your take on this one? No, this is a cool jersey. Like you said, mm -hmm. it's a little more unique. I, I feel like the Flyers, at least over the past 10 years don't have too many uh, options when it comes yeah. to their winter classics. That's true. With that being said, you know who <laughs> does have options? What's that? The Pittsburgh Penguins. Oh, oh. And Pittsburgh Penguins had a winter classic jersey in 2010. Oh. Was that not 2011? Was it 2010? Uh, oh, January 1st, 2011. Yeah, okay, okay. So, yes, yeah. 2010 season. <laughs> well, now that's staying in. <laughs> Us being like, wait a minute. <laughs> January 1st, 2011 is when gonna, they played the game. I'm going to interrupt you for one second because this is also my number four. Look oh, at us. No <laughs> I love See, this jersey. It's a great jersey. Yeah. 
it's a little more plain than the baby blue. Yeah. Oh, wardrobe change. This is like when Katy Perry had to change her wardrobe really fast during the Super Bowl. There it is. This was the, actually, unfortunately, this was the game where Crosby got that wicked concussion that had him out for almost two years. And it was against the Capitals, who yeah. I believe are the most wins at the Winter Classic, are the Washington Capitals. And they always have the worst jerseys. <laughs> if we right, were doing like, a worst list, they would be number one. God damn it, bring back the Weagle. Yeah, I they want still the haven't Weagle. done it. What's going on? Yeah, this is a, such a good jersey. It, 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 and it, it's instantly recognizable with this penguin that doesn't look nearly as fierce as the modern penguins do. No. It, it, he's just a cute little guy that, you know, he skates around. He's a little <laughs> chubby. That's the thing. <laughs> with what you're wearing, Josh, he's buff. Yeah. Whereas on this penguin, look at he's a little chubby guy. He looks like he's on. It's Pengu. He's just happy to be there. We're actually back to you because I already said my number four. What's your what's your number three? Nice. My next pick, Josh, is nice. the 2018 New York Rangers the Winter Classic. Yeah. This this is icon. The, the the colors pop. Yeah. The the Rangers going across and like you said, the shields. Yeah, the shields mm -hmm. are back on these jerseys. You know what else I just realized too was <laughs> it's the New York Rangers shield. Yeah. That's the shield on the corner. That's, that is that's really good. Even sicker. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What's your number three pick? So my number three is also from the New York Rangers franchise, but is the 2012. What I love about this jersey specifically is that it coincided with the Flyers jersey from 2012 perfectly. They both went for that beige lining, and I'm like, this is great. Why aren't more teams doing this? Where they they had a theme. They literally they went with like it. They look like they were in a smoker's house. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What I like about the tint is you're on ice, so you're already on a surface that is bright white. So doing that, look how they stand out more. And it looks like you're watching an old film. Like you're you're watching like an old hockey game. It's very similar to uh, something that may or may not have happened yesterday on the Shockwave Sports <laughs> Channel on the reboot. The reboot, starring the reboot. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I I I don't like the New York Rangers um, original logo. I think it's very plain. And mm -hmm. this one, you could get away with it because one, it's older, and two, I just like the shape of it. It kind of looks like like a shield. Um, yeah, it looks very medieval, and I know that doesn't fit New York at all, but I I like it. <laughs> they're Rangers, they're fighters, <laughs> the New York <laughs> medievals. <laughs> this is one of my favorite Winter Classic games because there was a breakaway shot with our boy Mike Rupp, who former Pittsburgh Penguin, and he scored the goal and then did a salute because Yager was playing for the Flyers yep. at the time. Iconic moment. Look at that. Look how good they look on the ice. Yeah. Oh, Eric Stahl's there. Oh, Stahl's on the team. <laughs> what is your number two? Oh, boy. Uh, this is where oh it gets boy. spicy. It's going to get spicy <laughs> because this team is playing today oh. against my team. Oh, look good. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you heard me. I love the Boston Bruins jerseys. Where's our boy? There's our boy, there Chara. There he is, Chara. Look at that giant on the eye, the big <laughs> yellow machine. <laughs> the uh, I, I just love, I love the, the shoulder pads it almost, too. It's like cartoony. It looks like it should be on like a like a like on a ketchup or mustard bottle. Yes, it's the <laughs> mustard jersey. You can have the Capitals as the, the other one. The Capitals are the ketchup. <laughs> and there's it's a, another year of Flyers biff their jersey. Yeah, is that, is that even mm -hmm. a classic jersey? It just looks like the regular it's white with away the jersey. Orange stripes and orange gauntlets. What were what they a, thinking? What a punk. Especially if I'm a Flyers fan, why would I want to spend like an extra like hundred dollars for that? <laughs> Some uh, extra yeah. orange. <laughs> I, I I don't get it. I don't get it. <laughs> Yeah, I love this jersey, and I, I think this is uh, definitely this is my top two. Nice, nice. Well, my number two is from a team that has had its highs and lows, mostly lows. The Toronto <laughs> Maple Leafs in 2014. Yes, they actually made the Leaf 
look like a leaf. Amazing. I remember uh, seeing that jersey and being like, finally, they made a leaf look like an actual leaf. It looks very Canadian. I don't know how else to say it. It looks it looks like it's part of the uh, the original teams. Uh, I love the stripes on the sides. It looks very festive, yes. especially it's around Christmas time <laughs> and New Year's, uh, especially if you look that photo with the goalie. I love that jersey on goalies. Uh, and then with the beanie on top, that's when they started to do the beanies. Yeah, it's great. And those classic pads. Style, yeah. That's it. Everything's perfect <laughs> about it, and I, they're not on my on the list. Rest of yeah, they're not on the rest of my list. But that Detroit Red Wings jersey uh, that, that was that a great. Al- that year. almost got on Look my list. Jerseys. Yeah, that was a really uh, that was a uh, really good year. From like twenty from like two thousand nine to like um, twenty fifteen, that was like peak Winter Classic jerseys. They kind of fell geez. off for a little bit after that for some reason. It's because of the stupid Flyers. Yeah. It's all their fault. It's literally the Flyers' fault. The Flyers <laughs> and the Capitals are over <laughs> here like, oh, let's rebring back the word capital, but it has the hockey stick in it. Like, oh, okay, good job, guys. Good job. I'm glad you keep winning them, but get a better jersey. Bring back the Weagle. <laughs> maybe if they this brought a call out. Maybe if they brought back these jerseys full time, maybe they could win a playoff series. That's what I'm, I mean. Honestly, yeah, yeah. <laughs> give them, give them better alternates. Jonathan like, Tavares in this jersey, oh, he would look great. Uh, yeah. Oh, it's a oh because yeah they redesigned the logo after this. Oh, and they made yeah, it yeah, they so did. that the, each of part of the leaf has a significant meaning to like mm. how many times they were in the playoffs and no, how many wins gonna, they've had at the not, Stanley Cup. That's not going to change soon. <laughs> Yeah, they're, they're not gonna have to update that logo. That's why they were okay with changing it. The number one jerseys we're at yeah, now. Yeah, here we are. What is your number one jersey? I'm I'm actually very curious. I don't know what it is. Nope. Wardrobe change. Katy Perry Super Bowl. He's just like her. There it is. Kowalski is violently changing. <laughs> I, I mean, found it. Oh my my flow is all over the place. You save you <laughs> save the first for last. It's the first one, and you know, it's a classic. Look at that. I remember being a little kid <laughs> and it happening for the first time, and like it was the coolest shit ever that they were playing outside. I couldn't get over it. For some like, reason, they, they're playing outside. <laughs> you know what's weird? Like when they when I see that jersey, everybody thinks of Crosby because of the shootout goal. For some reason, I think of Tyler Kennedy because I think he also had a goal in the game. <laughs> <laughs> he um I always loved uh Tyler Kennedy sidebar because uh as a professional wrestling fan his, with his last name being Kennedy they ha- there was a very popular character in wrestling called Mr. Kennedy who would announce his name and then say his last name again so whenever Tyler Kennedy scored a goal they go Tyler Kennedy wait a couple of seconds Kennedy Great, great. <laughs> it's what a perfect jersey, and what a way to introduce a uh, event called the Winter Classic. Yeah. Where, I mean, for years, even and young Penguins fans like myself, I wouldn't have known that their jerseys used to be blue. To, like to, that is so cool. To do it in Buffalo is perfect too, because let's just go to the coldest place in the United States for it. <laughs> We're gonna make sure that ice is cold and we don't have any melting issues. Just look, the, at look at the entrance. I forgot to mention. It's like a wrestling yeah. entrance. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the pyro? There's oh, our Gino. boy. What a great scene this is. You can't get more iconic than that. <laughs> and they had Doc on commentary. Can't get better than that. It's weird we live him. in a age that Doc's retired. Uh, and like the, it's it's not even been a year. No, right? I, I, yeah, <laughs> it feels so weird because he uh, he left when the NHL left NBC. That was his mic drop. <laughs> <laughs> My number one. Is from the Washington Cap. No. My- oh my goodness. <laughs> I would have left. I would have stopped the video. Mine is a little spicy, though. It is from the Pittsburgh okay. Penguins, but it is uh-huh. from the year of our Lord, 2023. 
Nice, I, nice. I, th I thought about it. Yeah, I think this jersey is what the Winter Classic is all about. Old school, not not only a tribute to the Penguins, but to a team that's not even technically connected to the Penguins. Yeah, the pre-Penguin yeah. hockey team, the Pittsburgh Pirates, <laughs> baby. Let's go. The what a sick design choice. Back to what I've been loving about these Winter Classic jerseys, the beige. The whole jersey's beige. It's so good. I, I'm excited to watch this on the ice. I, 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 I think it's just an awesome jersey. I recently bought one, um, so I got to like actually look at it in real life, and that kind of cemented my number one. I was like, yep, this right here is why we have the Winter Classic. We want to remember hockey history not just in the nhl but all of hockey i think it was outstanding that the penguins organization did this i was just talking about with my pick for this one i love that we both picked the two <laughs> the newest one and yeah, the, the oldest old, one true. And it's for the same reason where once again growing up as a penguins fan they used to be blue yeah yeah well that's a good uh segue josh <laughs> into the uh pittsburgh penguins winter classic because yeah. uh let's talk about it the the winter classic game tonight the it, meth bear has returned as well yeah they're both great jerseys uh they knocked it out of the park this year it feels like nice. we're getting back into <laughs> it feels like we're getting back into our form with these winter classic jerseys but even the game i mean it's exciting it's been a roller coaster of the season for the penguins honestly i've been a little disappointed in the team if anything but <laughs> and the bruins i mean they're the bruins they're once again one of the best teams in the league the nhl chose two really exciting teams i think and i i want to see another shootout Let's do let's let's run it back to 2008. Let's get another shootout. A winter classic shootout. I'll be shaking in my cool. boots, but it, it'll be exciting though. No <laughs> other sport has something as cool as the winter classic, really. Yeah. Really. Yeah. I didn't write an outro. <laughs> this is just like cryptic connection. <laughs> but sick. Thank you, John, for joining me. I am excited for the future episodes we have here on Shockwave Sports. We got a lot of content. Not only this week, but the rest of the month, well into March, we're going to have a lot of wrestling content and some more sports content. So if you fancy any of those, subscribe. And uh, yeah, thank you, John, once again. And let's go Pens. Let's go Pens. <laughs> <Woo>! <laughs> that was fun.